everyone this is the second video of modified K I was trying to post videos like every Sunday but I can't think of everything you know something every Sunday if, so if somebody wants to like suggest something in the comic box for a video something I should do about then that'd be great because I was just sitting there I, like, I want to do something recent I don't want to talk about Oh, hey, here's how to take care of your tattoo that I got, you know, last year. That doesn't help anybody. But, okay, so something recent finally popped up. As you remembered, I talked about in my last video, infected gauges. Stretched ears, whatever. Um, and I was at, I had to go down to an inch. Well, currently, I was at one and a I already sized up to one and a fourth, and now I feel like I'm ready to go back up to one and three eighths. I believe this is. It's like barely below one and a half. And this is what I have. I have all my stretchers down to an inch. So we're going back up to one and three eighths today. And okay, I I realized in my last video that I mentioned all these things about products and I didn't really do a good job describing them or, or whatever like I remember I said oh oil which is, is like oil from the desert <laughs> anyway well okay first step on stretching your ears is people say you really shouldn't use silicone to stretch but I don't really feel like hunting down tapers for this size so guess what we're using stretchers get over it if you take good care of your ears it will work I promise and don't be stupid and jump like three sizes because it gets worse when you get bigger anyway okay first step is if you can't tell by my lack of makeup I just got out of the shower um so I apologize for that but I always take a shower without my plugs in and massage them in the warm hot water because that kind of loosens them up and you kind of rub them a little bit I mean you know just kind of baby them like I said in my last video in the shower and then okay here's the oil the infamous desert oil <laughs> here it is this is desert essence see where my finger at 100% pure jojoba oil which is something it's, it's got if you read the ingredients it's got a bunch of you know vegetarian vegan shit that's the good sign I guess and it's cruelty free no animal testing so that's kinda what got me and this is four fluid ounces I've had this for like half a year now and I will and I used it like like I said at least three times a week more in the winter we're just now getting over winter and yeah I got that much left so it's worth like eight bucks or seven bucks however much I pay for it anyway it's really good for your skin your scalp and your bodily areas um this is what I do oh, it, it's really oily imagine that so I keep like a towel when you're doing this because you don't want to be running around looking touching stuff and getting oil over everything so have some kind of washcloth or something well let's see I have long hair and I don't want to get it all up in my lobes and because that's ugh, ugh. so I put my hair up okay this is what I do oh crap I just got oil over everything that's nice okay take the oil and it you know it only needs like a few drops because it's oil obviously kind of get it on your fingertips and you just kind of rub it on there like that and baby and kind of pull I mean it, they're so sensitive where you can't you know tug on them you probably shouldn't be sizing up yet but I can because Mother Nature says they're ready and just you know pull on the side you can kind of twirl, just make sure you get oil, you know, all up in there. I love these terms I'm using. Okay, so we got that. Get the oil off. 
for this next part. Okay, this is not, I have not read this anywhere. It usually says to use one or the other, but I use both just because. Sounds extra safe. I don't know. Okay, so this is what I talked about also in my last video is my stretching balm. Mm, can you see that? You can see that. Okay, I have gauge gear and it's 100% organic. Once again, that vegan stuff. Gotta be good. And it's got stuff like almond oil and beeswax and germ oil, you know, vegan stuff. And it smells pretty nice. It, this is 9.6 grams, and I got this off eBay. I love eBay. And I paid like $4 for it. Granted, it was on sale, because I bought it from a company, not from somebody. But, yeah, okay, anyway, I'm off track again. This is what I do. Okay, so you make the little gap, little dip you have right there. I kind of take a little bit of this balm and I put it like right, can you see that? Right there. And then you just kind of push it around and like lube it up all the way around to where it's nice and oily, balmy, you know, all the way around. It's so shiny. So it's kind of like a little layer of balm. And, you know, you fold it up like how you're going to do whenever you stretch your ear. And you poke it in there. Oh, it's kind of slippery. So, yeah. Yeah. Yay! And there you go. See? And I kind of take the balm, because it's still on my fingers, and push it all the way around the outside of the lobe. Get a little extra. And yeah. That's how I do it. And usually it stings, but you know, it, it doesn't sting as bad. I mean, it'll give like one little eh, and then it's like eh, that's it. When you get out of the shower, because you know your, lo your lobes are all kind of loosened up and stuff. And then plus that, extra babying and tugging and pulling prepares it. And it's better. And don't forget to, I mean, just because you know you got this in doesn't mean it's over. It's still stretching and it needs to be healed. And I take this, like, I don't really touch it for the first day, day or two, if it's still like a little stingy or sore or whatever. And I'll take this and rub it on my fingers and just kind of go like that around it. And I'll kind of push it here go in just to make sure you know it's not getting all gross whatever well like i said if you guys have any suggestions for what i should talk about in my next video i really wanted to make it come out with a video each week on a consistent day but and i want to use recent topics that i'm experiencing so i'm not just like talking out of my ass about things I think I know what I'm talking about. This is stuff that has worked for me. Like I said, I have found good results with it, so I thought I'd share it. I don't want to talk about something that I have done four years ago or anything. I mean, if, if I come across something that I feel that is necessary to talk about, it, but it has happened like decently recently like maybe like beginning of the year you know within the within this past year I'll do it but other than that I like to keep it what's going on right now so I know what I'm talking about and it's fresh in my head so you guys don't get the shit in the stick all right well that's all I got so if you have any suggestions comment box below